It's almost impossible to focus in this worldwide crisis, but we can fight through this together. We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. So I want to start this video by reminding you guys with simple do's and don'ts that we should all be following. Do stay at home as much as you can. Do wash your hands thoroughly for at least 20 seconds. Cover your cough and sneeze with a tissue and throw it away. Don't touch your face. Don't travel unless super necessary. And please, please do not hoard. You don't need a lifelong supply of toilet paper. There are people that need it more than you do. This is not an individual survival game. We got to help each other out by being socially responsible. Also, do educate yourself with liable sources from the media, but do not spend too much time on social media or the news because it can cause unnecessary fear and anxiety. They say you want to try and clean as many things as possible. Things that you really need to keep them safe. I can show you the world. <laughs> Please be aware that media was designed to make you stay on the platform for as long as possible so it's really easy to spend a whole day just watching the news or reading what's ever on the internet. You really don't need that much internet time in your life. Trust me, I'm a media studies major and I've been studying this for two years now. So now we've covered the basics. As students, what can we do? I'm in the quarter system which means that it's my finals week and the COVID-19 stress has added on to my already existing exam stress. And around the world, your school may have chosen to just stop classes at all or may have transitioned into online courses. Whichever the case, this is new for everyone and it's difficult to focus on our work. So these are some guidelines that I came up with and I hope they can be helpful for you. If you two don't mind, I'm going to bed before either of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed or worse, expelled. She needs to sort out her priorities. You may have to go for a grocery run. You may have to stock up on some supplies. You may have to move out from your dorm room. Whatever the case, know what's most important for you. Do you know how to prioritize your safety and well-being first? Once you're set and self-quarantined yourself, Set a priority list of the things you need to do. Do you need to attend your online courses? Do you need to start working on your final paper? Or do you have an exam that you need to start studying for? If you have trouble knowing what to do next, set a list of things that you need to do and number them in order of importance. Another thing you need to do is handling your stress. COVID-19 has been giving me a lot of stress because everything has been changing by the minute. That means I had to go through a lot of disappointment. I had to cancel travel plans. My study abroad year was not going to be going as planned anymore. All my international study abroad friends were leaving and going back home. School events that I was really looking for were being canceled. And not to forget, on top of everything that was going on, I still had two final papers that I had to work on that I haven't even started. I know it's a lot, but we really shouldn't be panicking. Panic and fear leads to irrational decisions and you will be stressing without being productive at all. Now is a good time to calm down, take a deep breath. It's okay to be a bit optimistic in these circumstances. As I was editing this video, I was thinking about how the coronavirus has influenced our lives so much. I consider myself an introvert and a homebody, so staying inside alone all day isn't too strange for me. But with all the chaos that's going on, I have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow, next week, next month, when I'll be able to see my friends and family. In my last video, I mentioned my goal for this year was to collaborate as much as possible. I'm not sure how that'll turn out with these circumstances. But most importantly, I hope you guys stay safe, take care of your physical and mental health, and I'll see you guys in my next video.